Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Hi, my weekend it was really fun <laughs> because I went uh, to my at my friend's wedding on okay. Super Day. Yes, uh, nearby the El Boquero, mm -hmm. in a restaurant um, called. Uh, Montemilia. Montemilia. Montemilia, yeah. Okay. And it how was, was it? Mm -hmm. It was a very, very romantic, a romantic wedding. Okay. It was at night. Yes. Um, really started at uh, 6 p.m. and finished at, at midnight. Did you stay all of the time? Yes, because we we were uh, very good friends. And did you dance? Did you have a good time? Tell yes, me. Yes, we we danced with her, and uh, um, also uh, it come a robot to dance with us. A robot. A robot. Okay like a costume uh, the man seems very tall mm -hmm. and, uh, the, he has really very much lights lights and uh, ah it was really fun and I like <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun something different yeah after the robot uh, uh, come the batucada <laughs> to close the dance. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Mm, that's great. Well, that's the the friend from um the that you work with, right, in the hospital. Oh yes, um, oh, we mm -hmm. are workers in the hospital in the same. Yes. I remember that you mentioned before that you were co-workers. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, well, that's great. It's great to see that you had a good time, a different weekend, different activities. Enjoy yes. yourself. Good. Okay. Yes. And the dinner was uh, very delicious. Hey. Good, good oh. songs, good music, etc. <laughs> I like I like to see that that idea of the robot too 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 too. <laughs> Maybe that would have uh, been different. Okay, thank. Mm -hmm. you. All right. Um, uh, what about the rest of you, Nicole or Dennis, Javier? How was your weekend? Hey, hello. My weekend mm -hmm. was a little bit quiet. Quiet. Okay. Because I just stay home, watch TV, having a lot of rest. Because I really felt tired for because the last week was a little bit heavy. Okay. Yeah. All right. It, it was it was good. Okay. And have you did you stay home with your family? Did you do something together or yeah, yeah, with my family, with my with my girl and my my sisters and and my nephews. My family is a little a little bit is really big. The house never is alone. Always <laughs> have a lot of people, a lot of a lot of children. Uh, you never are alone in home. Okay, all right. Uh, Dennis, Nicole, what about you? How was your weekend? Oh, it was fine. Good evening, everybody, by the way. Um, but yeah, it was fine. On Sunday, uh, yesterday, actually, I just went to the lake. Um, I tried to go once a week. I like a lot. I love swimming so i went yesterday after 
after, let's see, it was after 2 p.m. And then I just came to my home on Saturday. I was just working here at home. Um, doing some stuff here. Um, but yeah, it was, like, like was fixing, good. Like fixing the house, uh, repairs or, or what? Or repairs, actually. Actually, the the washing machine, let me see. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember, but there was a rat inside the washing machine. Mm. And then the rat, uh, I, I, I don't know how to say, but no, manguera. I don't know what, what's the word. Hose. But the, sorry? Hose. Hose. Oh, hose. Yeah. There is a hose that had was leaking, leaking mm -hmm. some water because the rat, mm. so the rat bite the, the hose. And yeah, when we tried to use the, the machine, it was just leaking water to the ground. And yeah, on Saturday, I just tried to open it and I found the rat inside the, inside the machine, but. Did you kill it? I couldn't, I couldn't. So it, I, I was so sad because I was trying to, how do you say, a revenge, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't, I couldn't. I just went, I just took the machine to the, to the, to the, to the yard, mm -hmm. to the backyard, and I opened it, and then the rat went out, and I, I was running. <laughs> I was running, trying to kill the rat, but I couldn't, so... Well, wow. next time. <laughs> next time, next time. Yeah, but that's good. You know, it's amazing because normally the men are the responsible to kill the rats or <laughs> animals in the house. is is normal that the one, but, but not in my house. Not in my house. Really? In my house, <laughs> really, in my house, I don't kill the rats. I don't clean. No, I call my wife. I say, I I I call my wife. Look, 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 look a rat, a rat. I can't get it. And she goes and she gets it and she kills it. <laughs> <laughs> so you you feel scared against the rat him. i hate him. i feel i feel nah. disgusting only i look and, uh, no uh -uh. Nope. really actually really? i was i was i was with my with my nephew mm -hmm. but he didn't he didn't fight he didn't face the rat he just ran out so i think <laughs> that he's like <laughs> he's like me nope not for me not for me <laughs> <laughs> but well I we couldn't we couldn't kill the rat but I was so angry because <laughs> it cost like fifteen dollars to replace wow. the, the host. Yeah. Imagine a little animal and it can destroy a lot of things. And actually the rat couldn't get inside uh from this from the downside downside of the machine. It uh -huh. was from the upside because the the door was open so oh. my my niece let the 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 door open sometimes she just opened the door and she let left the the door open so the rat did, couldn't get inside the machine from the downside so the rat did it from the from the upside okay, mm -hmm. okay. yeah it's always amazing. The rats come in from different places or different things, and you're like, mm, I don't know. But okay. Nah. But the next time, the next time you can do it, and <laughs> you call your wife and your wife <laughs> like mine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, guys, I'm so happy that you're here. We're ready to begin a new week. Um, we only have uh, next week. And then we finish classes. Actually, the last class is Tuesday next week. Tuesday next week is the last day that we have. So it's very good. We are fine. We are not behind. We are right on schedule. Um, we still have unit four to complete, but we have enough time. So remember the same. I, I mentioned it because it's important that you understand so that you'd work in the platform. If you haven't worked in the platform or maybe... Sometimes you're a little behind or you maybe you went to a wedding with a robot and you didn't have time to do the exercises, then you can go ahead and do it. Um, today, we're going to go ahead with 3.6.
we are going to learn how to use modifiers. Really the easy way to think about this is adjectives, descriptions. So as we look at each other, we see each other in the cameras um, and you can see the clothes, the shirts, the blouses, you know, um, I see that uh, Anna is drinking uh, coffee, maybe tea, and uh, I think it's coffee. What is it, Anna? Pepsi? <laughs> no, it's uh, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Hey, hey, there you go. And Anna, how is the chocolate milk? It's sweet, warm. Mm -hmm. Warm. Thick, delicious. Oh, you don't drink it cold. Ah, uh, sometimes I drink it cold, but today I wanted it warm. Okay, so today that's what we're going to learn. When you have many different adjectives in English, there is a specific order that you have to say them. For example, do you say, oh, it's a warm, sweet chocolate milk? Do you say it's a sweet, warm chocolate milk? Do you say it's a chocolate milk that warm and sweet? In English, there is a specific order. Today, that is the idea that we're going to learn. So let's watch the video, pay attention. I will pause the video so you can take notes if you need to, but it's important because we have many different types. We have, for example, color, uh, shape, uh, descriptions, size, uh, age. Today, we're going to learn that how do we describe with all of these different adjectives, the words. So. Remember, the objective, 3.6, whoops, I had sharing the video, don't know what happened. There, 3.6, we're going to use modifiers, and we're going to begin learning by watching a small video. Let's continue talking about places. I think Antigua Guatemala is a pintoresque, a small old town with an incredible history. Order of modifiers. We will begin this lesson by reminding you about adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. They make sentences more interesting. They give details that make your meaning clearer. They tell what kind or how many. Now, when two or more adjectives modify a noun, they must follow a particular order. Adjectives or modifiers follow this particular order. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, and the noun. Let's talk about each one. Opinion. An opinion adjective explains what you think about something. Often people may not agree with you. Examples. Silly. Beautiful. Horrible. Difficult. Size. In this case for Anna about her chocolate milk, the first word she would use is the word a. A because this is the determiner. It can be one several or many uh and then her opinion what is her opinion oh delicious wonderful mm, tasty different a uh, delicious that would be how we would begin to make the correct structure let's see if you can identify what would be the other words in the order that you would use them a size adjective of course tells you how big or small something is examples large tiny enormous little age an age adjective tells us how young or old something or someone is examples ancient new young old shape a shape adjective describes the shape of something examples square round flat rectangular a color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Examples, blue, pink, reddish, gray. Origin. An origin adjective describes where something comes from. Example, French, lunar, American, Eastern, Greek. Material. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Examples, wooden, metal, 
cotton, paper, purpose. A purpose adjective describes what something is used for. These adjectives often end up with ing. Examples, a sleeping, as in sleeping bag. Roasting, as in roasting tin. And then the noun. The noun, the figure that is receiving the adjectives. Now, take a look at some examples of sentences using adjective order. Silly young English man. Huge round metal bowl. Small red sleeping bag. Old green wicked witch. All right. I'm going to pause right there so that we can see the idea. The idea is we can use several different adjectives. <clears throat> not normal. It's not normal to have many. It's not normal to have, for example, six adjectives. It is normal to have one, two, or three. This is usually the maximum that you have is usually three. As an example, oh, it's a small red purse or it's a large green jacket, right? This is the normal. It, it is very common to usually have a two or three. Then it becomes less common to have four, five, or more. This almost never happens. And usually it's exclusive for writers. Usually writers that are writing books like Don Quixote, where he use a lot of adjectives, descriptions, that, that's normal. But normal people, hey, that's a nice dress. That's a nice shirt. Those are, oh, what are they? Oh, these are, these are new. These are new headphones. These are new black headphones. These are new, that's usually the maximum, two or three. But you can add more if you want. But I think this helps you in the two forms. You can see the chart, the correct order like this, or the chart, the correct order like this. Depend on your learning style. Some learning styles, it's easier for you to look at the colors going down. And for some people, it's easier to see when you are looking at the chart. Leaving the adjectives. Like this. Now, one. small. So whatever you like, it's okay to look at and review. But the idea is only for descriptions. Now here, we're going to have our next activity where we're going to practice using them, but not in the way that you think. This is actually about people, Maria, Ian, and they're talking about Sydney. Now, do you remember last week, Friday, we had presentations, right? Exactly, and that's the idea. We are going to use the information from last week, the information from today, and try to do better the way that we describe the cities, the way that we describe the places. We had, a, for example, um, a La Union, Ilopango, that we had many different places. The idea was, now we're going to see how we can describe the food, the activities, the places in more descriptive, more attractive, right? So imagine Anna said, uh, I say, Anna, what are you drinking? And Anna said, chocolate milk. Mm, I don't want to buy chocolate milk. If Anna says, I say, what are you drinking? Warm chocolate milk. Hmm, maybe, but I don't like warm milk. But if Anna says, I'm drinking a delicious cup of warm chocolate milk. Ah, now maybe I would like to try it. Do you see how those adjectives make the difference? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. Because the idea is that's what we're going to do. We're going to have you try to sell us something, try to get our attention. Not only, oh, Nicole, you have a, a new shirt. Mm, one word, new. Okay. You have a new yellow T-shirt. Uh, okay. So you have a beautiful, bright yellow T-shirt that matches your house. Oh, okay. But that's completely different, right? You see, because Nicole and I, we live in the same house, only we are in different rooms. Nicole's in her room and I am in my room. But it's a, like secret. It. it's a secret, it's okay, Nicole. 
<laughs> all right so let's listen and let's check okay listen to the two people talking and let's see what we can identify life in sydney here who enjoys it more maria or ian okay who says that it's easy to get around sydney maria ini uh, sorry maria ian or both who talks about the beaches who talks about the rent a fun a fun place to live that the restaurants are all expensive that life is better in a smaller town, right? So smaller town for El Salvador would be someplace like Ataco or Huayua, something like that compared to a big city like Santa Ana, San Miguel or San Salvador. Let's listen and try to answer the questions. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? How do you enjoy living in Sydney, Maria? I love it. I lived in a little mountain town in the US before I moved here, so I'm really enjoying Sydney life. And the climate is great most of the year. What do you like most about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very easy city to get around. The public transportation is pretty good, which is important for me because I don't have a car. So you see, I use buses and trains most of the time. I can usually get wherever I want to pretty easily. How about you, Ian? Well, it's a very beautiful city. I love the harbor and the opera house. And the beaches are great, of course. Oh, yeah, the beaches are great. There are great beaches close to town, like Bondi Beach. I know, it's true. But I don't have a lot of time to go to the beach because I have to work two jobs to make enough money to pay the rent. Actually, I'd really prefer to live somewhere smaller. I find Sydney too fast too noisy, and definitely too expensive. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but my rent's not bad at all. Actually, since I'm splitting the rent with two roommates now, it's about the same as I was paying in the US. And, um, yeah, I love the nightlife here too. On weekends, my friends and I usually go to a club or a place with live music. There's always something interesting going on downtown. I've made lots of friends since I moved here. That's great. Ian, what do you do for fun in Sydney? Well, not much, I'm afraid. It's so expensive to do anything here. Also, you know because of the high rents, I can only afford to live out in the suburbs. And there isn't much happening out there, believe me. Hmm. I guess once in a while I like to go to Chinatown, though. There are plenty of restaurants there where you can eat fairly cheaply. Good ones, too. Is that right? I can't seem to find cheap food anywhere. In fact, the restaurants near me are so pricey that I hardly ever eat out. All right, here's a question. If you could change one thing about the city, what would it be? The traffic, without a doubt. I used to drive back in my hometown, but I hardly ever drive here. There are far too many cars, and drivers are very aggressive. You have to know where you're going, and you have to drive fast, otherwise other drivers can be really rude. See, I don't have a car, so that doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It's so much better here than the tiny little town where I used to live. I don't know. Sometimes I think life is better back home. Sure, it's smaller, but it's easier to live a good life. And you get to know the people better, too. Woo-wee! One more time or it's okay? Okay, For me it's is, okay. Okay. All right, let's begin. What is the who seems to enjoy life more? Maria or Ian? Maria. 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 Okay. Good. It, it <coughs> says that it's easy to get around Sydney. Maria. Both. Maria. <laughs> Maria or both? Ian or both? Maria. 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 Okay. Maria. Yeah. Who says the beaches are great? Both. 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 Okay. Who says the rents are expensive? Ian. 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 Okay. 
Yeah. Who says it's a fun place to live? Maria. 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 <clears throat> Who says the restaurants are all expensive? Maria. 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 Mm -hmm. And who says that life is better in a small town? Ian. Yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. Very good. Most of them we have right here. We have Ian, life is better. Your restaurants are all expensive. Maria, uh, Maria, it's a fun place to live. Of course, Ian is the rents are expensive. The beaches are great for both. And it's easy to get around Sydney. And the last one, Maria seems to enjoy it even more. You know, very interesting. All of these questions, these answers about the two people, right? Now, the same happens in El Salvador and the same happens in most cities. In most cities and most countries, you have people living there. And some people love the country, love the city. And other, all they want to do is leave. They hate it. They don't like it. Then always they have a lot of complaints. So today we're going to focus on both aspects. What do you like and what you don't like about the area where you live? After, what would you like to be seen or what would you like to change for that area? As an example, you're going to imitate me, okay? I live in Santa Tecla, which is in La Libertad. It's very, uh, not cosmopolitan, but it is a very centric location, which allows for a lot of community activities, such as parks, concerts, or other places. So there is a lot of nightlife. These are some of the things that I like. Unfortunately, because there are a lot of activities, if you're a person who likes to sleep early, it's very difficult. And I think some of you last week, you heard at night in the background the music from my area that always boom 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 because always i live in santa tecla there is always a party there is always dancing and music and concert so these are some of the negative things if i were the mayor of santa tecla i would try to regulate a little bit more the location of the bars and restaurants so they are not mixed with the residential area and and that's the idea. You and your partners, the positive, the negative, and then your opinion. What would you like to change and explain why? This is going to take some time. The important is try to describe, like me, using different adjectives. Adjectives of size, uh, descriptions, uh, cosmopolitan, old, uh, new, modern, uh, good. But you can use basic. It doesn't have to be fancy adjective. Okay? but it has to be a description so that if I have never been to your city, I have an idea of what you're talking about. Okay, before we go to our groups, do you need any vocabulary, any words? Uh, for Maybe you want to say something and you don't know how to say it in English. For example, Carlos, hey, Carlos, how do we say alcalde? Mayor. Correct. Like I said in my presentation, exactly. If I were the mayor. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Rafa, do you have any questions? No, no. Okay. It's I like okay. Rafa is the first to present because Rafa, no question. He is ready. <laughs> I like Thank you so much, Rafa. I nah, relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to our groups. Remember, we want to share. Now, after your partner shares, please ask each partner in the group. We're going to have trios. We're going to have trios. So each partner. So let's say, example, Rafa gave a small presentation, a description. Then I am going to ask Rafa three questions about his city. And my other partner is going to ask three questions about the city. So not only is speaking, also practice your WH questions, what, how many, what time, where, the different things. Okay, so presentation, three questions each partner, and then the next. Presentation, three questions each partner, and then the last one. We are ready? Yep. Yes. Yes, it's yeah. good. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Let's do it. George, you okay? I was not transferred teacher to to the to the to the meeting room. Okay, let me try. Let me try another one, George.
Okay, I see we are back. Great. Let's take a look and start. Um, let's see. Uh, Selena, please give me a number between one and three. Sorry, <laughs> two? Number two. Number two is the group of Ana Granados, Dennis Antonio, and Rafael Dobu. So, Ana, you're going to explain about what Dennis said. Dennis, you're going to explain what Rafael said. And Rafael, you're going to explain what Ana said. Okay. Um, well, Dennis was telling us about San Martin City, which is where he lives. And he was he was telling us he used to live in Marliot and then they moved to San Martin and there's a few things he likes and there's other things he doesn't like about the city. Like uh, what he likes the most about the new place where he lives, uh, it's that the house is, it's big. It's way bigger than where he used to live before. And he can like invite a lot. Of and then the things he doesn't like, uh, for example, like, Delivery doesn't come from Pizza Hut, <laughs> doesn't come, but from other places it does come, but he loves, you know, he likes Pizza Hut a lot and they don't come. And um, what else did he say? Mm, the traffic, it's terrible, he said. Uh, so if you're driving from one place to another, even if it's normally 20 minutes, it can take more than an hour. Wow. That's okay. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, I think that is my, my turn. So Rafael, what, uh, what he mentioned about the place where he lives, uh, which is uh, Nuevo Cujatlan, he mentioned that he had been living there for six years. And he says that it's a beautiful place, it's quiet, uh, it is very, the security is good. So he likes to go running at night. And also he says that one of the things that he doesn't like is that uh, when there is a concert or music close to his house, it is annoying. So he doesn't like that part, but he likes um the weather the climate is good not too hot and it's not too cold and well pretty much that was the description of what i remember what rafael says about nuevo cojatlan and he right. is an, an eye believer i think that he said <laughs> okay <laughs> no <Nah>, i'm just <laughs> kidding <laughs> hey dennis before we continue I noticed that you mentioned two words. You mentioned the word weather and you mentioned the word climate. Do you know the difference? No, you yep. I'm not. Oh. I remember actually that I asked you, that's why I'm after whether I mentioned climate because I, I just remember that the correct word or the one that I was trying to use was climate, but as I used to, to do it, uh, I used to use weather. And then I just did it. That's why I tried to, to correct what I was saying. And instead of weather, I, no, actually not instead of weather, I just said after weather, climate. Good. Only the pronunciation, Dennis, is cli climate. Climate. And could you please explain for the people that don't know the difference, what is the difference between weather and climate? Yep, I think that I, I can try. Mm -hmm. uh well climate is like climate? is like in climate is like in general it's like in general for a specific place or for a country and weather is like how is the weather today it's raining or what what is happening uh, at that moment or uh, that week so weather is more specific in climate is more general. For example, if you are making a comparison between Alaska and 
and El Salvador, Alaska is very cold always. And the climate in Alaska is, is cold. And for example, if we are making the comparison with, with El Salvador, we are like, it's not hot or, oh, well, let, let, let's go with, with, for example, with Africa or El Congo, for example, is, is, is hot. In general, it's hot. So, so, so? <laughs> no, no, no. Very good, Dennis. Excellent. I was checking if you remember because last week you asked and I wanted to see if you you apply the knowledge that you asked for. So great job. Excellent, Dennis. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. ya, no, ya no hay regañada. Good, good, good. All right, Dennis. All right. <laughs> Rafael, you are next. Okay. Uh, Anna lives in Merliot near El Platillo. She lives for two years ago. She she has been renting a house. The house is very quiet, nice. It is close to almost everything, super supermarket, restaurant, etc. Um, she doesn't like the main street because the there are a business, a, a strange business like car wash. <laughs> that's all that, that, okay all right so Anna doesn't like the car washes all right Anna, no problem, no problem. A strange business <laughs> strange business strange business okay I don't like because they have pupuserias no strange business okay, okay. excellent okay good Rafa, please select the next group number one or number three number one Number one is Carlos, Selena, Nicole. Carlos is going to explain about Selena, Selena about Nicole, and Nicole about Carlos. Okay. Selena lives in uh, Yutuxtepeque. He, uh, she said that uh, Yutuxtepeque, the weather in the morning at, and at night is, is cool. It's cold. Um, she uh, she also mentioned that uh, this place is located near to San Salvador Volcano, uh, next to Mexicanos, uh, La Gloria. Uh, the traffic in the Boulevard Constitución uh, is terrible. And she she likes the that in that place. There are a lot of trees, so uh, the weather uh, the weather is is good maybe for that reason. And she also mentioned that uh, she uh, lived in Soyapango before uh, she went to that place. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. Okay, um, I, I told about uh, Nicole. Nicole says that uh, she lives in, lives in Nuevo Cuscatlán. It's like Rafael. Mm -hmm. uh, in Nuevo Cuscatlán, uh, she doesn't like, she start but uh, tell us about, uh, doesn't like uh, the traffic. Mm, there are so many traf so much traffic and uh, there are it, there are so noise and and early because uh, uh, she said that um the noise is uh like um uh, 5 p am and this is uh, so early for her and but um, that's, uh, that's is, uh, isn't like, but she like um, the climate, the climate uh, because it's cold and she like, there are so many um, business, food, food business. And uh, she like to, um, she said that that there are um, so many things um, 
like um I don't know. <laughs> you can play football and everything about it. Deportes. <laughs> in, in, uh, she said that uh, she liked that. Uh, is the place, and in this place, you can go uh, to Santa Elena, but also to um, like a way for the beach, I think, La Libertad, I think. And, and you can. Um, um, it's easier to go uh, at this place, and and uh, she liked that, but uh, she doesn't like the the much uh, traffic and car and and it's it's like that. But she said that there are many uh, there are two kind of people, one of poor people and other uh, rich people <laughs> and and this is like that it is small the, the town the the town is, is small but there are uh, two kind of people uh, in the social uh, social state no. <laughs> and and it, i remember that I don't remember Nicole more, but I tried to. I tried to. Okay. Very good, Selena. Very good. Remembering a lot of information. Only in the chat you can see the word is sports. Okay. Sports. And the Sport. most important, Selena, is you have to try to practice the S for the third person. For example, when you are explaining about the other person, always, always is she likes, she says, she. I understand you perfectly, but you need the correct pronunciation with S. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Thank Celine. you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Celine. Nicole. All right. I'm going to talk about Carlos. We couldn't talk that much about him, actually, because I talk way too much, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, he lives in Soyapango. He says that he doesn't like the traffic. I mean, we no one does like that. And he says that he works there in Soyapango, so it doesn't take that long to get to his mm -hmm. to his workplace. Um, I, I don't remember that much because I guess that was all we talked about him. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Nicole. It's okay. Sometimes one has more to talk about, one less. The important is that everyone is talking. Excellent. All right. Javier, you're going to explain about Patricia, Patricia about George, and George about Javier. Um, we don't, we, we talk a lot. <laughs> Patricia talks so much about her, and I talk about me too, because the another one, uh, it was not connected. Oh, so we share a lot of information. Okay. Um, she told me about uh, his town, the place that she lives, and she told me is is a positive thing. Uh, just live as five minutes from his house uh, to his work. And she's a doctor. Everybody know that. Oh, we know that. She 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 told me uh, is the the her town. Yeah, she is the most wonderful doctor in the hospital. Uh, <laughs> and one thing that she, she don't like is that in her town mm, have a, had a tradition, uh, a dance, a fight between a deer and a tiger. Uh -huh. he, I think it's, it's, it's a tradition. Mm -hmm. And the tiger and the I think is a custom, two men's custom of tiger and deers, mm -hmm. um, and they fight. Uh, and I think the deer is that that die all the time. And when the the deer dies, everybody is ate the 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 steak. And this is something that she really doesn't like. And after that. 
they they made a parade or something like that. I, I don't remember very clear. She lives in San Juan Normalco, La Paz. Okay, thank you very much, very much. Uh, Javier, great job. Just remember the, the pronoun between he and she and yeah. his and her, but good job, very good. Thank you. So then is really the other person, uh, in this case, George, could not participate too much. Maybe he had internet problems. Maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. Patricia, then in that case, tell me about Javier. Yes, teacher. Well, Javier uh, is living in San Julian, that is uh, near to Sonsonate. He loves this, this place. He lives uh, there uh, for about 30, 37 years. And um, he doesn't he doesn't like um, some things about uh, like um, there is no banks, um, there is no uh, no have uh, many big big stores like malls and um, uh, like in Sonsonate there is all. There is all the banks, malls, uh, big, 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 big stores. Uh, the he loves that this uh, place that the the fresh fresh weather, fresh weather, and um, there is so much fruits and vegetables, uh, very much uh, several kind of foods. Yeah, that's all, or I remember that she said, he said, sorry, he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that is amazing, guys. You remember a lot of information. You practice a lot speaking. I hope also the questions, it's excellent. I have to say, out of everyone, I am surprised by how long Javier has lived in his house. 35 years is a long time. A long time. I don't know. It's, it's, for me, it's wow. It's wow, because I have lived in 22 different houses. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I don't understand to, to live a long time in a house. It's, it's You it's are like, like a nomad. More <laughs> or less, more or less. I like to move a lot in different countries, in different cities. Um, I have lived in many different places. Sometimes I like, sometimes no. Sometimes I, I live in a place for six months and I say, no, nah, it's not for me. And I go to another one for one or two years. And then I changed to another one, and then I changed another one. This house, uh, Nicole and my and our house, uh, we I moved here two years ago. But <laughs> uh huh, it's for the for the color of the wall that Nicole and I have the same color today. I don't yes, I didn't right. notice that. <laughs> I didn't understand after you said. But, but I explained for the uh huh. It's not true, but only that's for the nice. color. It doesn't like me to be out there. That's why I'm here. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't know. For me, it's it's amazing. Um, like Javier, like I said, I, I like to, I really, really, I like leaving. I, I don't like to stay in the same house. I like to change houses. I like packing. I like throwing away old things that I don't need. I, I like to uh, start again. I don't know. It's for me, it's, I feel fresh. I lived in San Salvador like one year, but doesn't like me. And you didn't like it? No. No. I always come back. Uh, and you know, I think it was they Dennis, Dennis, you say you live in San Martin. Yep. I, Currently I'm living in San Martin. Actually, I have a house in San Martin. I, I live in Santa Tecla, but my family, we have one in, not exactly in San Martin. It's near a place called Alta Vista. Yeah. 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 So we have one there. And I lived in Alta Vista for a few years. And then I nah, time to move. 
but <laughs> continue there. I, I live some time in San Vicente, in Mexicanos, uh, I don't know, in, in Soyapango, Lourdes, Quesalte. And That's I, cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I want to go to Santa Ana. I want to live there for a few, for a few years. I, I hear that it's nice. But, but actually, one good thing that I that I that I see that why you, you you can do that is because of your profession, right? Your your kind yes. of job, right? Your yes. Kind of job. Actually, because of my profession, for example, um, I could be in Guatemala, and I could be working in this moment. It's not necessary for me to be in exactly. Salvador. So. Mm -hmm. Which is which was very interesting that you mentioned that, Dennis, because actually over the weekend I went to Guatemala and I was in exactly that. I was thinking, hey, maybe I could live here in Panajachel for six months and work from Panajachel or something. But it's exactly <laughs> really, nice. Yeah. really nice. <laughs> yeah, I was I was in San, I was in Antigua on Sunday and I saw the volcano explode and I was like, wow. It's nice. It's I like, I I like this new millennia where you are a digital nomad. You can work almost from anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you have internet and a computer, anything. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I'm sorry to take more time. Thank you so much for connecting and being here. As I said, please work in the platform. Tomorrow we finish unit three, but we have presentations. I will not tell you the presentation because tomorrow is not preparing presentation. Tomorrow is in the moment. You have one minute. This topic, you speak. If you talk, you talk. If not, that, that, that. hey, we are going to practice. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.